Red Magic has just confirmed that it will use liquid metal to cool the upcoming Red Magic 10 PRO. This device will be the next generation of the brand's flagship smartphone for gamers, and it is simply amazing what they are achieving. This device is yet to be unveiled, however, Red Magic is previewing some features through various publications. And one of them details more or less how this cooling layer is composed, which includes a layer of steel base and liquid metal in sandwich designed to be able to cool as much as possible to this device. According to figures from Red Magic, through this system they can reduce the core temperature of the device by up to 21 degrees, which would be absolutely insane. And this would be their revamped Ice 10 cooling system. Red Magic has also confirmed that it will use a screen made by BOE with a screen cooling formula resolution, which is of a screen cooling formula resolution, which is of a screen cooling formula resolution, which is of a screen cooling formula resolution. And apparently it will have ultra thin bezels, in this case 1.25 millimeters. As we all expect by now, it will come with the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, which in conjunction with this new cooling system is expected to achieve sky high performance. Performance. I think what Red Magic needs to do at the moment is to work in collaboration with some game developers because the current Android game catalog is falling short of the performance it will be able to achieve. On Android there are still not as many games that use ray tracing and have very complex processing as we are starting to see on iOS where the iPhone is still not capable of running those games at a high frame rate at completely stable frames per second. It seems to me that Red Magic with this device would have capabilities close to having a much better experience than the iPhone but still the catalog of games with such complex graphics is very limited. It will definitely be an exaggeratedly advanced device that I already want to meet. If you do not remember, this device will have its official launch on November 13th in China and is expected to go on sale globally very soon after that.